and welcome back. Um, we're going to set up developer options on this 8K transparent TV thing that, yeah, just kind of curious how it works. Um, if you guys are brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. We're going to go ahead and jump in on this now. So here it is. Um, pretty simple. We're going to go here to the gear icon. We're going to come here to device preference and then go to right at the top about come all the way to the bottom where it says Android TV OS build and click this seven times. It says no need. I'm already a developer. So I'm going to hit the back button once and come down here to developer options. And there you go. USB debugging is already turned on. Developer options was already set up. So everything was pretty much ready to go. Um, I did do in my previous video. If you go to apps and you go to security and restrictions, unknown sources you don't need to do anything in here because it already does it for you which is not bad you know it just it just does it for you so that that's that's good to know um one thing i did want to test out before um we end this thing is people did ask about the 8k like hey you, this thing says 8k but can it even handle 4k um the codecs that are in there it looks good um but i'm kind of curious to see how well it's going to perform or not. So let's check out Rojas Travels. Um, and I'm going to pick uh, this video here, the my, my Miami video. And first thing I like to do is, man, that thing is, it picked up really quick. Um, it is a 4K video. There's not that many, there's not that many videos out there that's, that's in 8K. So it picked up at 720 automatically. And let's see how long it takes for this thing to, um, yeah, to, to load a 4K video. So 720 looked like it was pretty good right off the bat. It looks like the 4K might be taking a, a little bit longer. But yeah, okay, there it goes. It, it actually didn't take that long at all. Um, and it looks really, really freaking good. That's awesome. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm not getting any buffering. This thing is actually pretty smooth. I'm actually very like pleasantly surprised on how well this works. I'm always looking for devices like this where you don't have to spend too much money. If you can get some basic stuff, there it is without breaking the bank. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you guys have ever tested anything like this. I try to get you guys here all the latest and greatest. Um, yeah, hope you guys are doing well. You guys take care, take care of each other. See you guys in the next one.